this is going to be my February monthly empties and I just filmed my January one because I took a six month hiatus off of YouTube and so I just needed to film these to catch up because it's actually the end of March and I want to film my March empties video so uh, first up is the kitchen apple and fresh mint from Bath and Body Works I showed one of these in my January empties. I love the scent. This is so good. I don't think that they're stocked anymore at my um, Bath and Body Works, but I will check the next time that I go in. I love the scent. Oh, let's see. I went through 160 cotton squares. I like these with the little like ridge design on here. Can you see that? It just uh, makes taking off eye makeup a little bit easier for me, so yeah, love these. We'll continue to buy them. They're just the Equate brand. I don't know if I said that. Maybe I did. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, next. I always have these hanging around so I can take off uh, makeup that gets on my hands when I apply it on my face or, you know, make a big mess on the counter when I'm done. These are the Huggies One Done Cucumber and Green Tea uh, Baby Wipes. I like the scents. I continue to repurchase these just for the scent, so... Um, after I went blue <laughs> with my hair in the winter, I decided to go a red. And I used up this Vidal Sassoon Runway Red shade, which is super bright. This is like Jessica Rabbit bright. And I also used up the L'Oreal Feria in, what shade is this? Intense Deep Auburn R48 right there, and I did enjoy both of these. I need to re-dye my hair again, but I did like these. Oh, Next, let's see, I have a Rose Jam Shower Gel, and if you like the Rose Argon body conditioner, I think that's what it's called, from Lush. This is the exact same scent, but just in the shower gel. And I absolutely love this. I will continue to repurchase this little guy. Next, I have a Dove Refresh and Care Invigorating Dry Shampoo. This was okay. It seemed to leave like a white cast in my hair even after I like brushed it through and rubbed it in and everything. So probably won't repurchase this guy. This took me a long time to use up and I wasn't really a fan of the scent. The scent was like baby powder. I didn't really like it. Like a grown up baby powder scent. I use a Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioning Treatment for my hair. I like to use this. Um, like, I'll switch off between a super deep conditioner that's like $60 to this one to like a regular conditioner. So, this is pretty much always in my shower. And I just noticed the last time that I went to pick this up that they have like three other formulations of the Aussie conditioners. So, yeah, I'll have to check some of the other ones out and see if they're just as good as this. So, um... Next, I have a Dove deodorant in Blue Fig and Orange Blossom. This is okay. This isn't my favorite scent from this line. I do like the, uh, I think it's like green tea and cucumber. I like that one, the green one. So I prefer that over this, but this is a nice break in the scent if you use the other one for too long of a period of time. So then I used up a Be Enchanted. Bath and Body Works, Fragrance Mist, little body spray here. I love this scent. I think Pink Chiffon has one as my like overall favorite scent from Bath and Body Works, but I still do enjoy this one a lot. So yes, I would continue to repurchase that scent. I used a, this looks like it's full, but it's just air in here. This is the Soap and Glory Hand Food. You can see this entire thing is like completely used up. Um, I have kind of mixed feelings on the scent of this. It kind of smelled like rose and like, ugh, I don't even know what the other scents that they have mixed in there with the rose, but my husband absolutely did not like the scent of this, so I had to use this when I wasn't around him, which was kind of difficult when you're married. So uh, it, this did take me quite a while to use up, probably three or four months, and this is just a teeny little guy. I go through lotion super fast, so 
It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase. This is the Body Shop Strawberry Body Puree. This is like just a really thin consistency of the lotion. Um, I got this in like a two pack from Christmas or something. And while I do like the strawberry body butter, I do not like this formula. It's super thin, it absorbs super fast, and it feels like you didn't put anything on. And the scent, it's not quite the same as like the body butter strawberry scent. It's just like a little off, so no. I wouldn't purchase anything of this sort in the body puree from the body shop again. Oh man, okay, let's see. I have a Sesh Beat. Uh, dry fast top coat. Obviously there's a little left in there, but I can't get it out because it's super gooped up. So yeah, this is um, my favorite top dry top coat. I did try and find a different one to replace it because I didn't want to spend like $9 on this because my Sally's was constantly out for like three months every time I went there. So the only other place I could find such feet was at Walmart and it was close to nine dollars so I didn't want to buy it so I bought something cheaper and it didn't work so I had to like finally end up repurchasing it again a couple months later so mm. it's kind of ruined me on top coats this is the Shiseido uh, something wrinkle resist 24 intensive eye contour cream just an eye cream from Shiseido I really did enjoy this this is just a little sample of it but it did last me like uh, three or four months. I got this in like a nine sample pack thing that came with the Sephora online order. I really do like the Shiseido eye cream. So I think I might purchase this in the future when I run out of my other three eye creams that I'm currently using. So yes. Another eye product is this Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller. I've had this around for like a year. Finally used it. I don't think that this is very necessary. It didn't seem to depuff anything with my eyes. So yeah, I'm not going to purchase this again. Oh, so I went through some of my makeup and I do have three items that I didn't finish that they turned on me. They're all the same like lip gloss uh, formula. It's all a lip gloss that I didn't use up, but I do have some makeup that I did use up. So first of all, this is the e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. This was a dollar. This is in the shade Raspberry. I didn't like it in the first place and now it smells really bad. So this is just going in the garbage. I have had this around for probably three years. This is the Lorac 3D Lip Gloss. I don't know what shade this is. I'm going to say 3D because that's what it says on the bottom, but it was really pretty. It was loaded with glitters and it smelled like apricots, but now it doesn't smell like apricots. So even though I've used up like, I don't know, I'm going to say at least half of it, it's got to go in the trash because it smells super sour and gross now. And I'm going to throw this in my Back to Mac bag. This is the Mac Kissable Lip Color. This is like the liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Flaunting It. This was really pretty. I actually forgot that I had this because when we moved, I packed it away. So, um, yeah, it stinks now. So I'm going to have to just throw this in my Back to Mac bag and exchange it for a lipstick. So onto the makeup that I did finish. This is the Kula Mineral Sunscreen in the matte tint. I did not like this. Um, it was kind of, it kind of oxidized on me and it stinks. It stinks really bad. Even though this is like a BB cream with an SPF of 30, I did like that about it, but I won't purchase it. I do not like the smell of this. It almost made me gag every time I used it. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. And while it looks like there's a lot of product in here, this is all empty. <laughs> and like up here on the top where it looks like there's product it's just around the edge that the brush can't get to and right down here at the bottom the brush can't like scrape up against the side because the top part of the brush is like preventing it from like I can only go over like to there and the brush only goes to there so it is impossible to get the rest of this out I love this color I will repurchase this after I use up 
a couple more of my other lip glosses and like lipsticks and stuff. So I do like this in the shade Eclair. It's like the perfect pink. Next is the Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Flared. I don't like the flared one. I did use it because I picked this up on accident. I was just trying to get the regular one and I don't like this as much as just the regular Falsies mascara. So I will not repurchase this again. It was okay though. It was okay. It was just a mascara. <clears throat> Next is, all the writing's worn off, but this is the Kat Von D <sighs> Tattoo Liner. I think that's what they're called in Trooper. And it has like a little ball on the inside that you shake up, and it's the brush. So, um, I have mixed feelings about this too. This is super black. But I feel like I had to go over the line like three or four times to get it the exact thickness that I like, which isn't that big of a problem because it's like jet black. It's probably the blackest eyeliner pen that I own, that I did own. So I do like it. I think I'm going to try and use up my black track fluid line from MAC first and then maybe I'll go back to this guy. Then... I have a, so you can't read the writing on here, but I took a photo of this before I'd used it all because um, I knew that I was going to sharpen away the writing on it. Billy, hey, Billy, no, oh, dogs. Okay, so this is the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. And this is super jet black too. I really enjoyed this. This would go in the waterline really nice and it would actually stay in my waterline. I have an issue with some eyeliner pencils like to come out like in the inner corner of my eye, but this one didn't. This one stayed in beautifully. So um, I will check on the price of this and if it's not too crazy expensive, like $20, then I think I will purchase that. And the last little item I have here is just a sample. This is the 100% Pure Coconut Nourishing Body Cream. That's what it looks like. I got two of these in my birch box and it was okay. I liked the scent of it going on my skin, but after it dried and sat there for a little while, it kind of smelled like kettle popcorn or something. <laughs> it was kind of gross. It was like a caramely... Mm, I, I didn't like the scent after it dried. So, no, I will not repurchase this even though I did use up the sample. So, that is all that I have for my February empties. So, thank you for watching.